Hello and welcome to WordPress User TV. I'm your host, Mag. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the DV child theme. So, do we really need a child theme for our website or not? So, the question comes from Bang Media One and he says, I really appreciate your tutorials, but there needs to be a sound technical foundation. Could you please answer the many viewers who asked about relationship between child and main theme? whether to copy CSS to the child theme and the consequences of applying a child theme before and after building your website. Best regards. That's a very good question. And to be fair, I was also confused when I started designing my websites. Now, when it comes to child, child themes, a lot of documentation and a lot of videos say you definitely need a child theme. And they mainly cover the area where they're talking about the theme being updated and you losing all your settings. Now, if you're only updating your CSS file, you don't need to worry about updating your child theme. And most of my websites, I stick to updating my CSS uh, style sheet to make any changes to my theme. I don't really go into any other files. Now, if you start changing your PHP files like your sidebar.php, your single.php to make further customizations, then you need a child theme because these files belong to the theme and they'll be overwritten when you update Divi. So those are the two distinctions. If you're just making CSS changes, that's fine. You don't need to worry about adding a brand new uh, child theme. But if you're doing major customizations to your PHP files or your functions.php, for example, then you need to have a child theme. Now, it's quite straightforward where to add your, um, your, your CSS and I'll show you where. So here I am in my WordPress admin dashboard. So what you want to do is to come over here to DV, click on theme customizer, right? So on theme customizer, there's this area here called additional CSS. So this is where you want to click and add your CSS. And you can see I've already added some CSS to this file. So as long as you add it here, if Divi updates, you're fine. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Now let me show you the other place where you need to add your CSS. Okay. So I'm just going to click on leave. Right. So the other place is over here. When you click on Divi, theme options, if you scroll all the way down here, you can see we have this entry called custom CSS. Now, if we expand this and scroll, you can see that that's the same CSS that we have that I showed you for a few moments uh, before. So this area here is where you need to add your CSS and adding it here is totally fine. Now, there are other cases where you may want to add CSS to a particular page and this applies to Divi, of course. So let's go into our main website and I'm going to enable the visual builder. Right. So if you need to add CSS to this particular page, what you need to do is to come all the way down here to your expand settings. Click on this gear icon here because this gear icon here gives us, gives us access to the page settings. So if I click on the page settings here, click on advanced, click on custom CSS. And again, you can see here, I've got some CSS that I've added, but if you add it, if you add your CSS this way, it's only going to apply to this page. So even if you update your theme, you're fine. You don't need to worry about uh, this being overwritten. So that's how uh, the DV child theme works. Now, there's also other uh, child themes that are being sold out there. Now, these are sort of like uh, mini websites, which you buy and then you add to your website. Now, there's a distinction here. We are talking about adding customizations to your existing website. But uh, if you want to buy other child themes, which are sort of like designs that are made by, you know, certain designers and developers, then that's different. Of course, you can, you know, you can buy those and once you um, add those to your website, that just gives you a totally different layout to uh, what you have. So I hope that answers the question. Now, if you're brand new to our YouTube channel, I would recommend that you subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time we add new videos. And also, if you are uh, starting off and you want to get into web design, I have a special, special offer for you, especially if you don't have... Um, uh, hosting setup. So I'm offering you a free course. In fact, two free courses. 
The first course is DV Blueprint 3. This is pretty much your foundation on how to get started with DV and you also get to design a fully functioning website throughout the whole tutorial. So it's a full course. It's called DV Blueprint 3. The, the next course is called a WordPress Mastery. Now WordPress Mastery is fantastic because this gives you an idea of how WordPress actually works. So this gives you everything you need to know about WordPress and how to get started. Now these courses cost, uh, in fact, the DV Blueprint 3 costs 247 and the WordPress Mastery course costs $97. So if you buy your hosting through my affiliate link, I'll give you these two courses absolutely free. All you have to do is to fill in step two, where you uh, enter your name, your email, and the reference number or the receipt number that you get from InMotion Hosting. And that's it. Once you send me this, I will give you access to the full course. So this is just me helping you get started with your web design career. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do share this video with anyone that's uh, asking a similar question to what we've covered today. And I also uh, recommend that you ask me questions so we can have sessions like these where I dedicate them to answering your questions. All right. Thank you very much. Until next time. Take care.